Hi, this is Beth Quinn from NCWIP. In this video, I'm going to give you an overview of how to leverage existing assets to further your strategic recruiting plan, or more succinctly, you don't have to do it all by yourself. In previous modules, we've explored the importance of being strategic to produce better outcomes and to better manage your resources. We then talked about how to identify who you want to reach and what makes sense in your context. Next, we learned how to do smart messaging uh, to that targeted audience. And so now let's explore how to leverage your existing assets. So what does like, leverage existing assets really mean? Um, You've audited your existing messages. You've created some materials that align with your strategic vision for your program. They're inclusive, real world. They speak to the students that you want to recruit. So how do you get those materials, those messages out to those students? So there are two really great ways. The first is reach the influencers. Um, so you can help inform those who are already communicating with and influencing the students that you're trying to reach. And then two, enlist your existing supporters, for example, students, alumni, and institutional resources. And the bottom line really is you do not have to go it alone. So number one, enlisting influencers. Who is already communicating with and influencing the students you want to get your message to? Uh, how can you enlist them to spread the word? How can you empower them to best represent your program and computing in general? In the video in this module, um, community college professor Cindy Arnold talks about how she works with her college's recruiters and advisors. Um, making sure that they have up-to-date, accurate information about her programs and about computing as a field. In another video, NC Witz Jane Krause discusses how you can enlist the help of counselors and advisors. Number two, enlist your current supporters. Um, so in the strategic planning guide, there's help for how to take advantage of people who are already on your campus and in your community and how to help them effectively message on your behalf. So for example, um, see if faculty and other programs in those that intro math class or intro business course, if you or your students could give presentations about your program in that course. Ask your existing students in your program to put posters and leave brochures in dorms and at other places on campus. Ask them to represent your program in presentations or by staffing a booth, particularly if they're like the students that you're trying to recruit. Work with faculty doing your intro courses. So for example, let them know about NCWIT's Engage CSEDU project, a collection of engaging assignments for intro computing courses. And you can learn more about that on, uh, in our module on uh, retaining students. And then also give recruiters and advisors your materials. Staple your business card on those materials. Um, also, NCWIT has some great posters for helping students see themselves in computer. Order some, staple your business card to them, and give them to the folks who advise un undeclared majors. Also, send faculty at feeder schools your new materials. Even better, make an appointment to sit down with them and talk about your program and your diversity initiatives. Then leave them with a set of your great new materials and some NCWIT posters. Remember, you don't have to do this messaging all by yourself. Enlist others to help you amplify your message. For more information, take a look at the checklist in the recruiting workbook to help identify potential on and off campus sources of support for your efforts. Thanks for listening. I hope it was helpful.